Uh, I have a couple of questions. Uh, you said how we have lost the notation to uh, explain uh, what is in the, in the slokas or uh, the <laughs> verses. So, are there attempts to made attempts made to uh, understand how the notation works, or uh, uh, if yes, how long will it take to or will it have? Is possible to push it to mainstream pri uh, primary school education? Yeah. And, uh, the second question is, uh, uh. I want to go talk about astrology now because uh, <laughs> in astrology we have a lot of data uh, from planets. We have the angles, we have the uh, position of planets. You mean astronomy? Ast astrology also. Uh, okay. Uh. Uh, 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 so, how did they make qualitative uh, uh, result, uh, qualitative, uh, uh, what do you call it? Qualitative results from data, numerical data. Okay. So, they say if the position of sun is in so and so degree and so uh, plants are in so and so degree, the person is, is bound to behave like this. So, okay. how did they make the jump? Okay. So, that second question I need not necessarily answer because it is unrelated to, it is not that I do not want to, but at least the first question I want to answer. In certain disciplines, it becomes extremely difficult for us to figure out if the tradition is lost. If it is a sort of medical discipline and if it names some herb, if the practitioner is not available, then you will not be able to do. But mathematics and astronomy happen to be discipline in which the tradition is alive as well as we will be able to rediscover even if it is lost, because we know what is being talked about with some hints here and there. But let me just tell you that it is not that bad because of the efforts which have been launched by some senior people uh, who were living in 18th, 19th century. The tradition was sort of gone because they saw to it that traditional institutions are more or less gone when the new educational system was imposed. So some Patasalas with great uh, difficulty, they sort of survived, but it could not survive much long because various grants were cut till date, so on and so forth. Let me not get into the history. But the point I want to answer is, so yes, we will be able to precisely decipher and present what is there in Sanskrit verse or in sutras in the light of modern mathematical language without making any hyperbole. So okay, it will be absolutely possible and that is what we are also trying to do with certain texts. For certain texts, it has been already done in 19th century and there have been some scholars and these scholars were not supported by government. They were individual scholars who had passion for this and they have been able to do. There were a handful of scholars in 19th century as well as 20th century. Handful, okay, we will be able to mention. So these scholars have given us some hints by which we will be able to pick up. And any serious student who has got a serious training in science will be able to pick up without much difficulty. And we need to prepare textbooks which will be available for the school children. Preparing is one thing and getting it accepted is another thing. So for getting it accepted, there has to be a certain mindset which has to change at a different level. Let me tell you, in one forum, which had to do with the national education policy, okay, so of which Manjul Bhargava was also a team member who was sort of heading and he spent almost a year, okay, I heard from him itself and his mother. So there was a discussion forum in which I had been invited to present views as to what can be integrated and so on. So when I made some presentation that uh, these are very interesting things and these are presented in an interesting way and therefore they could be introduced. So one of the well-known mathematicians, okay, so he came up to me after the meeting was over. Ram, you were saying that Bhaskaracharya's verses can be given, I don't think why should, why should we give this? I said, what is wrong in doing? Okay, so he was saying, no, 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 Bhaskara talks about some flora, fauna, some examples which people do not know, some peacock went there and uh, nobody knows about peacock or monkey going there. And I said, uh, it is precisely for this reason you have to do. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> no, the reason quoted was surprising to me. 
and i said okay you know, bhaskara gives that example which was available for him and if you take some other text i mean he will he will say some king king king, king queen viceroy etc he would give the different example uh, so we can give that i said what is wrong in giving this so this is the mindset that is the problem okay 